Hey everybody, Pastor Kevin here, bringing you today's Matthew devotion. We are in chapter five, and we're dealing in the text that is about Jew. Uh, it's about Jew. It's about Jesus and the law. He was Jewish, uh, but it's about how he interacts with the law, and he basically is saying he's not abolishing it, but he's fulfilling it. Okay, and um, I think it's important to think about though that idea. Those are two different ways that things end, right? One is abolish means it's kind of gotten rid of, and the other is fulfill, um, which is a whole different thing. And Pastor Isaac and Pastor Sam talked about that this week uh, in the sermon. The point is too easily we try to say that the law, or often we say the law is gone, and it's not because it says that... uh, I say to you, until every, uh, heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot. Uh, yota is the smallest Greek uh, letter, and a dot is usually referring to like the little differentiating marks, differentiating marks on like a Hebrew letter that would make one letter turn into another just because of a little teeny mark. It's not going to pass away. The law is not going to pass away until all is accomplished. And then it says this: Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So this idea of embodying it and and coaching other people into that embodiment. And I, that's the big test today. Jesus is saying that not one element of this, and when he's talking about the law, he again, he's talking about the Old Testament. He's talking about the, the first testament of the Bible um, and you know, the Torah has 613 commands, but he's also saying the prophets. I think he's really talking about the, the completeness of the Old Testament. He's saying, hey, none of that's changing. That's not, it's not going away. And not until heaven and earth pass away. Not until all that is, all is accomplished. And whoever would actually relax this versus those who would actually embody it and teach it. Um, so here's a simple question for us today. How are you embodying the law? Because the hard part is, is that to be honest, most of us who are right here, the talking right now, we're not Jewish. So there's a whole portion of this that is about ethnic Israel. It's about people who were born in as Israelites, that they were carrying a law with them. And that law was good and it was important and it was to fence them in for a period of time. Um, but it's saying, how do we embody these laws? And I think I've got to do a little cheater move here, and that's just that to look at how does Jesus sum up the the law? He well, he says it's basically loving God and loving others, right? At the core of this is how we love each other, and and in a way that costs, that costs us. And how do we know that? Because the very one we're following, the very one we're putting our faith in, that says we are saved, and we put faith in this one. He gave everything. He sacrificed when he didn't have to. He should have received blessing, but instead he receives curse. He should have received beautiful, wondrous, gifted life, but in in reality he receives death, but he takes that death on, on our behalf. That's so powerful. But that's the life he lives, and he's the one we follow. He's the one we put our faith in, that his work was greater than any work we could do, and it saves us. But we are now pulled up and into that work, right? That we actually follow by embodying and teaching these things. So the simple question for you and me today, I know you may look at me as a pastor and like, you're supposed to do these things. Well, I don't think that this particular scripture is just to pastors. I think he's talking to a greater group of people. He's letting them know what's coming in the sense of this is an introduction to what the teaching that's to come. But then he's, but he's laying it down that, hey, you're supposed to embody and teach these things. So how well are you embodying and teaching the, the goodness of this, the, the great commandment? Because again, I, I know that many of you, first of all, you don't, under, you don't know all the 613 commandments. Many of them are not culturally valid anymore in the sense of it may be talking about a different society. I mean, how do we operate in an agrarian society when we're not? Right? If you're not an agricultural family, how are you going to do those things? It's, it's kind of different. But there are other things that are perfectly applicable. But Jesus would sum them up in this law of love. How well are you doing at that? Tell me. Like how, how, how well do you think you're doing? Maybe just in the last week or in the last month. And it's one of those times where maybe it's time for us one, to, to crank up our game. And when I say that, it mean, does not mean just try harder and work harder. It is 
commit myself to submitting to Jesus, submitting to his spirit and listening intently on what would love look like today? What would love look like the next hour? What would love look like in my workplace today? How is it I could be sacrificial and love the people around me and show them what my king looks like? How is it I could speak to them in a particular way that would show them that? And, and believe me, I'm not telling you go into your workplace and tell people who don't know or don't care about Jesus and start teaching them Jesus' law or something. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, as a start, if we look at our lives this week and say, how is it we could love better? How is it we could step into the lives of the people around us in a more sacrificial way? How can, how can we give them hope? So would you do that with me this week? Uh, it's not easy. Um, as Pastor Isaac and Sam have said, this this Sermon on the Mount, it's not, it doesn't make things easier. It doesn't necessarily make us feel like, oh yeah, that's just so much easier. It's not. But it impacts every, or is intended to impact every aspect of our being, every aspect of our life, all of the context that we operate in, whether family, work, fun, non-fun, play, hardship, whatever it is, all of those should be impacted by how we live and follow what he's doing, okay? All right, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your love and your mercy. Thank you for your empowerment as well that we can actually do these things. Help us to know that, that we literally are empowered to live out kingdom lives, whether we believe it right now or not. You have given us what we need. You have given us not just an example. Yes, you are an example, but so much more than that. You have empowered us um, you have given us, you've, you've reconciled us to, to, to God the Father. You have brought us into the family. Man, how powerful is that? Help us to live that way today and every day. In Jesus' name, amen.